When asked the question what teams currently have an era in CSGO and what team is maybe currently making their march towards an era, I think the best thing to do is to compare to the most recent teams who had made their own eras in the game itself. I think most recently, of course, we're going to go off SK Gaming. Before that, we even had Fnatic back in 2015. That was when I first started watching CSGO very heavily. They were an iconic example throughout the year of 2015, a couple years ago. And then afterwards as well, we had the dominating performance in 2016 of the SK Gaming, the uproar of them coming onto the scene. And I could argue, and I think many arguments could be made, of course, for SK Gaming to have held that era throughout 2017 as well, even without, even with that new roster, of course, eventually losing FNX, picking up Phelps as well. The Young Guns actually failed to come to, to a full fruition on that team, but even then, you could probably have many arguments being made that SK Gaming has had their era for the last two years, and ever since then, we might have a new team on the rise, and that is, of course, going to be FaZe Clan. So first, I want to make a quick comparison, of course, show you guys what SK Gaming has done, and then talk about what FaZe Clan has done, and why I truly think they are making an era, and as of right now, and throughout the rest of 2017 and of course throughout 2018 I have very high hopes for this roster as I currently think we are in that phase era so briefly to show you guys on screen the long list of things SK Gaming did with FNX and with, of course with Phelps and now in the future 2018 who knows what they're going to do with Bolts in that roster we are certainly in the SK Gaming era and I still think they are the number one overall team ever of course you guys have seen their uh, Blast Pro series they went away doing very well there Epicenter ESL Cologne ECS Season 3 Dreamhack Summer I Am Sydney CS Summer maybe even CS Summit 2018 they'll dominate there and of course DreamHack Vegas I reeled those off so fast but the list goes on and on those are just some of their top finishes throughout the years 2016 and 2017 that doesn't even go to show you guys how many top four finishes or how many playoff finishes this team surely had no matter what player no matter what fifth member they're struggling with SK Gaming certainly had an error because it was what they did with their four primary guys which really led that team to be noticed and I really still do think of course it's kind of like ironic as well uh, as a point of you guys watch this video we do have the EPL finals going on today and they're by far and away the number one and two teams in the world uh, that's going to be SK Gaming and FaZe Clan facing off today I'm not really sure who's going to win that but of course this video would be perfect or perfected if FaZe Clan were to win that I do think they are the best team in the world right now and they're really one of the teams that no one can very well read so let's talk about as well why I think FaZe Clan is currently in their era and the making of it so of course a little short statistic for all of you guys uh, to give you guys a little background of this. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this know their roster very well. Uh, kind of weird to see that Nico's already been there for 10 months, but this is actually, I think it's a phase era composed of their current roster ever since Nico joined. So of course, we do have Kerrigan, Nico, alongside that Guardian, Olaf Meister, and of course we do have Rain, the kind of iconic poster boy who's been there the entire time. So I want to say we've been in the phase era ever since Guardian and Olaf Meister joined just a few months ago, and ever since then, this team has now had had five tournaments together, five pretty large tournaments, all of which have been top three finishes. So just to kickstart an era like that, I mean, not many teams out there can do this whatsoever. And if you guys look at the past two or three years, they are already a list of maybe three teams out there that have actually done what FaZe has already done. So that's definitely a good branch to start off on when it comes to making an era itself. And of course, you look at the most recent results. Currently today, they're in the EPL Grand Finals. Then next weekend or sometime soon, we have ECS. They're likely to make at least the playoffs there. Who knows if they'll go on to win or make a grand final there as well. So of course, let's look at those five events uh, very, very briefly. We had ESL in New York was the first of which where they did not lose a single map. And this is really the rise of uh, FaZe Clan. We knew they were going to be very good after acquiring Guardian Olaf Meister. No one was really sure how good though, because you have a Guardian who came from Na'Vi and Olaf Meister who came from Fnatic. And it was there where they were really hindered. You know, we're so used to seeing the 2015 Guardian, 2015 Olaf Meister. Olaf Meister 2015 was an ungodly character in the CSGO scene. And then they all of a sudden, you know, they go off in the distance and we don't really hear much from him. Of course, Olaf Meister kind of had his slump every now and again. Guardian has it has his injury and so no one really knew what to, to expect when they first joined this phase power roster and ever since they did join, well, we've seen quite an uproar. So ESL New York was the first real shiny moment of this, not dropping a single map, you know, beating teams like Cloud9 and Liquid, which of course could be argued against, but they swept Cloud9 2-0 and the grand final is a best of five. They 3-0'd Liquid. So it was crazy to see, you know, not giving up many map points whatsoever and not losing a single map. They also go on to E-League Premier though and for the first time in a long time, if 
maybe even ever in CSGO history, we see at two $250,000 plus tournaments, a team go and not lose a single map. Yeah, at ESO New York, not losing a single map. And then they finish it off a couple weekends later at E-League Premier, not losing a single map and beating even better teams like Astralis. I know Envious was struggling at the time. They also beat them as well as North, which could say, you know, of course, a lot of these teams are back and forth, but 2 0 a team like Astralis in the final there, absolutely amazing to see. Then we go, of course, to more recent events. We had IEM Oakland a couple weekends ago or about a month ago, and we saw NIP Magic come back very shortly in that best of five series. It was crazy to see FaZe Clan lose more maps in that series than they had the past two tournaments combined. Against NIP, they lost more maps than they had in ESL New York and E League Premier combined, but it was crazy to see, and of course, still a second place finish at a very large event. And the list goes on and on. That's only three events right there. The fourth one being the Blast Pro Series. I think they went away with a third or a fourth place finish. I believe it was actually classified as third. They won the third place matchup there. And of course, you could say that could, that could be thrown away as well on their on their list of you know faulty wins or faulty you know only a third place finish. People might say, but it was a best of one format. Anything can happen. A lot, a big toss up for them. And of course, no one's going to take it too much of a, a you know too much of a hit there. It's a very very small tournament. And then of course, we go to their fifth consecutive tournament together, a big tournament. That being of course the EPL Grand Finals being played today. As like I said before, guys, it'd be very ironic as well. I think they should be beating SK Gaming. If they don't, though, there's no argument against it. Whether they win or not today, this is their fifth event, large event in a row, with at least a top four finish, a top three finish. And of course, if you if you discount Blast Pro Series, that's four events in a row with a top two finish. That's four events, four grand finals. You can't argue, guys. Are we in a phase era? We're at the start of it.